Hi, this is Jose Figueroa with Figueroa Financial, and I want to welcome you to today's edition of Financial Answers Friday. The question for today is, how much money should I have in my emergency fund? That is the fund that is designed to cover unexpected expenses during the month, expenses outside of your monthly budget. For example, the car breaks down, uh, one of the appliances in the house breaks down, your water heater, your, your refrigerator, etc., etc., or you may have in an unplanned trip to the emergency room or to the doctor and your health insurance doesn't cover all the expenses. That's unexpected, so that's what your emergency fund should cover. You need to have that. Now, if you're still working on your debt snowball, paying down credit cards, paying down your car loans, etc., you at least need to have $1,000 in your emergency fund because you need that small cushion that allows you to pay for those unexpected emergencies while still uh, without busting your budget and without having to go into more debt to cover them. Now, once you pay off, pay off all your consumer debt, your credit cards, your car loans, your student loans, you need to take that starter emergency fund of $1,000 and bring it up to cover three to six months of expenses. So whatever your expenses are in a month, based on your budget, you need to multiply that by three or by six in order to have a fully funded emergency fund. Believe me, the emergency fund will give you and your spouse and your family peace of mind. Thank you for watching and remember, there's always help and hope for your finances.